in our uh, in, in in this uh, physical world. Thank you for participating in our program. Uh, this program is being live streamed, recorded, and sh will be shared later also on YouTube. All participants who register and join this program will be recorded. Your image will be seen if you leave your camera on. If you ask a question, your voice will be heard and your name may be visible. Thank you. If you would not like to be turned visible, please turn off your uh, video and the camera. Um, Henry Lee is going to do a short uh, presentation uh, about uh, a special cultural pass, a book display uh, that the Baker Library just uh, put up. And I'm urging everyone to vote for the Diker Library's display uh, because the more vote we get, the more likely we will be uh, getting the attention of the jury. And if we do win, we will be able to uh, win some program funding, which uh, could uh, supplement our library's um, public programs and service. Thank you so much. Henry, thank you for showing the, the screen. So this is, uh, okay. Okay, so this is the overall uh, display in the Diker Library. We have three umbrella. Each umbrella represent each library system. Brooklyn is the blue one. New York Public Library is the uh, yellow and the Queens Library system is the green. And we have these cultural institutions that participate in the cultural pass program. Uh, we have their pictures hanging there. We also hang some uh, brushes of the Eastern watercolor and Western watercolor painting. And we also show uh, various artists uh, whose work uh, um, is um, very familiar to us, whose names are very familiar to us. This is the Nigel Morgan's the watercolor of the Prospect Park in Brooklyn. Nigel Morgan taught uh, many classes uh, for us, including the Memories of Home class earlier in the summer. And next, okay, this these are um, the four um, noble plants, the plum blossom, the orchid, and uh, the chrysanthemum and the bamboo that's painted by another artist, Jake Lam, who is teaching, to, who just finished teaching a creative aging uh, class at the Brooklyn Public Library by Zoom. Next. The, okay, this is Henry's watercolor painting. Um, Henry not only teaches and practice uh, Asian brush painting, he also is an accomplished uh, painter in the Western style of watercolor. So this is his the Western American West, and this is sewing uh, next to the music. Uh, these are various um, brushes, Eastern and Western painting would use, and the books and cultural institutions, and uh, Nigel Morgan's uh, painting of Prospect Park in our display. This is a broken bridge painted by Bill Yuan Wei Yang using the traditional uh, Chinese brush painting technique, the tong oil, the dark oil to paint uh, metropolitan uh, scenes. Uh, this one happened to be broken bridge. It shows very congested uh, traffic. All to, I experienced that all day long, every day when I go to work, and all the tall buildings, the amazing uh, painting of Western um, scenery using Eastern technique. And at the bottom is um, Guo Xiuyi's painting of um, former in uh, southern China, where they would uh, shelter themselves with a certain kind of uh, raincoat made of uh, plant and I was amazed to see the cow is also sheltered from the rain so using that uh, brown um, fabric uh, brown uh, plant material 
uh, while working in the rain. Um, also, it's um, very um, details of uh, other paintings by Guo Xiu Yi that you can see at the other side of this page. The, uh, another painting of Guo Xiu Yi, and then this one in uh, yellow uh, with a yellow background is a second display that li the Baker Library created. This particular display focus on Guo Xiu Yi's uh, painting. As we know, Guo Xiu Yi is, uh, was uh, the late artist. Guo Xiu Yi was a student of um, Master Qi Bai Shi, and she started learning when she was in her 40s. Uh, just like many of us, so we pick up a new way of uh, expression, the artistic way of expression uh, at our later um, part of our life. And uh, we all have come a long way. We can accomplish a lot with just like Guo Xiu Yi. So this one is dedicated to her uh, painting, thanks to a uh, donation of the high uh, quality um, prints from uh, Ping Huang. Guo Xiuyi's daughter. Thank you. And this is uh, our our staff, uh, a portion of our staff. Some of them are camera shy, standing here. Um, welcome, everybody. Thank you. If you have a chance of visiting Diker, please do. And for now, please vote for Diker. When you go to the cultural past page, uh, it's listed, all the displays are listed according to alphabetical orders. So Biker would be A, B, C, B, 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 Y, K, E, R. Thank you so much. And please look for my email I sent last night at 536 where the link for voting is. Thank you very much. Henry, here's all yours. Oh, thank you, Yong Le, for the excellent uh, display with my um, paintings and uh, other uh, uh, instructors uh, artwork. Uh, I'm very honored to, um, to be there. Uh, I also uh, welcome everybody uh, as part of this uh, creative aging class. Um, I, I have overviewed myself last night, um, so I wish uh, all of you participate in this uh, uh, program to support our host library. Um, and uh, Yong Le uh, is now the, uh, what's your title, <laughs> Yong Le, the uh, person in charge, right? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm the person in charge of the Diker branch library of the Blue Club Public Library. Congratulations. Um, nice job. Wonderful job. OK, um, today we're going to learn um, bok choy, which is uh, Chinese uh, cabbage. Are you familiar with this veggie? Uh, it's, a, it's a very basic daily uh, vegetable, green, uh, daily green uh, in Chinese diet. Uh, uh, many of uh, us have the, this uh, um, habit of having this uh, on daily basis, at least every three days, you know, there's a saying in my family, if you don't eat this uh, in every three days, your mouth will be burning with fire. <laughs> uh, um, so it's a, it's a Chinese uh, kind of a, uh, medicine theory that this, is, this helps to cool you down, cool, cool your body down. Uh, it's very healthy, and, uh, I think, scientifically. Anyway, uh, and it has a uh, very deep um, cultural significance. Um, I tried to explain this a little bit, uh, so we, we know, you know why there are so many uh, art and uh, craft uh, using the, uh, this, uh, this vegetable, bok choy. Bok choy right? It's Cantonese pronunciation, uh, bai chai, bai chai. It sounds like bai, bai, cai, hundred wells. So um, in the in the surf in the uh, you know very low level of uh, symbolism, it, it symbolizes uh, wells. So the most expensive one is this you see in the picture. Uh, it's it's the 
镇馆之宝 ，the most 呃、uh, treasured item in the Imperial Palace Museum in Taipei， 呃，台湾。嗯 ，because this was carved on a 呃、uh, single piece of jade or 呃，翡翠。How do you say that？ There's a specific、uh, jade with this、uh, colorful green and white. It's all natural. They take advantage of the、uh, of the natural、uh, color, and it has、uh, some details. I can show you. You can see some bugs, right? And this symbolizes uh, uh, fertility or something. What do you call this? Dozi. <laughs> Um, anyway, it's a it's a、um, item, a gift,、uh, not a gift. How to say,、um, the brides, you know, for the、uh, it's actually actually a, a imperial concubine、uh, of the emperor in Qing Dynasty.、Um, it symbolizes purity and a good wish,、uh, wish for um, uh, of uh, sons, you know.、Um, Um, anyway, so this、uh, this is the Botchai.、Uh, Botchai. I think before we came to this country, we didn't expect you could find this、uh, veggie in every American supermarket.、Uh, I was worried about that actually, but、uh, when I arrived to this country, I was、uh, surprised that you could find bok choy in any, any, every、uh, supermarket. I don't know how do you eat it, but for us, we do it or stir fry it or steam it. You know, whatever. You, you, do you eat it like a salad? I'm just curious what you have in every American supermarket.、Uh, Like the big ones, right? We also、um, we usually eat the baby bok bok choy, but in painting we do the large ones.、Um, and、uh, you're familiar with this, right?、Um, this philosophically it represents、um, as a metaphor for Confucianism as、uh, the bare substance. Of uh, um, truth or you know things.、Um, so cai gen, cai gen is uh, uh, refers to vegetables with、uh, the inedible root of veg vegetables.、Uh, in painting, in art, we use、uh, bok choy or、uh, tulip,、uh, carrots,、uh, any you know like a、uh, sweet potato. Yeah. Could also represent、uh, tagging, but、uh, if you could live according to Confucian、um, Confucianism, if you could live on、um, a simple life,、uh, just、uh, you know, on bok choy, bok choy, bok choy, or tulip,、um, you could do, you could achieve anything. As in, in a Chinese saying, let me send you a link.、Uh, there is a book called the Tagging Tan. There are at least ten versions of Ch English translation, and、uh, if you go to Google and Google Cai Gen Tan,、uh, let me send you the link. I think it's very, it will make my job easier if you could just read that、um, yourself. Uh, uh, it's spelled the C A I G E N T A N.、Uh, okay, if you click on it.、Uh, Wikipedia, and let me send you the link, and you can just read that in the chat room. Oh, did I start recording this?、Uh, yes.、Uh, okay. Good. Not good. I. I okay.、Um, let me post the link to chat room. Where's the chat room? Okay. Chat. Yeah, I got some answers there. So you steam a stir fry, yeah, I think great.、Um, usually, yeah, we cook them.、Uh, so if you click on that that link, you go to a page. There is an、um, explanation about the title. You just read that. What's the tag? And 
take a uh, it was Thai and a root. Thai means uh, vegetables, greens. Gan means the root um, of plant. Tai means discourse. So there, uh, just uh, go through this list. Uh, the book is called Tai Gan Tai. Could be translated into English as Musings of a Chinese Vegetarian, Discourse on Vegetable Roots, The Roots of Wisdom, Discourse on a Simple Life, Tending the Roots of Wisdom, Zen of uh, Vegetable Roots, and uh, Vegetable Roots Discourse. So there are many uh, life wisdom, uh, it's especially in daily uh, Chinese conversation, you know, you, you could always. I, I bet you will hear one of these every day in China uh, from this book, Chinese Proverbs. And one of them is uh, here it says, Jiao de cai gen bai shi ke zuo. Uh, and that's what I, I, would, I, I would use for this painting um, with the vegetables and the uh, persimmons. I'll explain why and how this is related to, to art. Okay, it could be translated uh, 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 into English. It could be chewed, you know, if someone who has chewed vegetables roots um, for lack of anything better to eat can accomplish anything or achieve uh, anything. Um, or you can translate it uh, as uh, in common English. One who has gone through hardships can do anything. Okay, so that's the significance of this, and let's look at uh, the paintings now. Uh, some paintings from uh, our master uh, and his uh, wonderful uh, woman student, Guo Guo Xiuyi's book. Okay. Uh, yeah, here, here is here is the master Qi Shi Bai Shi's uh, um, bok choy painting. Uh, he 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 inscribed it as Qing Bai Chuan Jia. Uh, if you put this title in Google, it gives you a a, uh, a word innocence. I checked dictionary. I don't think innocence uh, is what it means here. Innocence means inexperience, right? Or in legal context, is uh, not guilty. But not, not uh, that. Here, in just like uh, we said in earlier, it's, a, it's the simple lifestyle, sim, uh, pure, uh, incorrupt, 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 how, how do you say? Plan and uh, pure, uh, it's in here, Qing Bai Chan Ya. Plan and uh, literally, Qing means clear, Bai means the plan, uh, white. Uh, Qing Bai means a. Uh, 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 if you if uh, uh, a man who could live on a vegetable roots, uh, who could live a plan and a humble life, a plan and humble life, which could be uh, which is which is uh, 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 heirloom uh, to to pass down generation to generation, uh, uh, heritage. So that's the heritage you want to pass to the next generation. It's not. Gold, or jade, you know, uh, or wealth is the spirit of uh, bok choy. Do you understand? If you have any questions, ask, and uh, you'll know. Who I probably could explain better. I, I bet. Another um, picture with uh, carrots and uh, uh, napa. I think. I think this is a. Uh, imitation of uh, Chi Bai Shi Bai, although it's uh, attributed to him. If you uh, search on Google, um, don't trust the, the signature anymore because uh, uh, I will say 75% or you know, uh, three fourths of uh, images I found on Google be, uh, you know, attributed to Chi Bai Shi are uh, not original. But for us, you know, for, for reference, if, as long as the pin pin looks good, uh, I don't care if it's, uh, you know, you could do better even, you know, we, we will, um, we will just say uh, fun or mimic or uh, homage to Chibash. Uh, in rare case, uh, he will use color, but basically he will stay with the, 
yeah, uh, ink monochrome, uh, monochrome or uh, just black and white like this. And he also uh, add uh, some small veggies like uh, mushroom, which is a delicious uh, stir fry. You know, winter mushroom uh, with uh, bok choy you can find in restaurant. It's a delicious Chinese a delicious dish. Um, this is the uh, same. Okay. Uh, also goes with the uh, winter bamboo root, uh, bamboo shoot. Shoots, bamboo shoots, um, typical vegetarian, or you may call panda foods. Panda, <laughs> panda foods, yeah. Okay, here's the one uh, we will try to do first. Uh, it's done by um, Chibash, is a very uh, famous new deeds. Uh, he says uh, uh, he inscribed it, Xiu uh, Yi. Nu means a uh, uh, woman uh, disciple or student uh, painted and uh, 91 years old by Shi inscribed and the title says Shi Shi Qin Bai sometimes he used the word um, uh, generation because persimmons persimmons uh, is a Shi in Chinese there may be a hundred words has this uh, shi. So there's a, a essay written uh, by someone just for a joke. They use only one sound in the article, but different uh, uh, characters to make a story. Like shi 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 uh, thing, thing, everything, double shi, you know, this means uh, uh, ditto, you know, double. Shi shi means everything is uh, done, uh, handled well with the uh, uh, qing bai, uh, with innocence, okay? And handled well and innocence means uh, every, actually, I think it's shi shi qing bai, just like we said, um, it's uh, also um, very, uh, clear and very, very clean and qing, you know, and uh, uh, very uh, not greedy, you know, in craft. That's kind of uh, uh, idea to pass down. Yeah, I think I, I try to find, uh, there's also say, yeah, you can, the original painting that uh, uh, Qi Bai Shi did, I don't have a larger picture, but this is the same composition. Um, the uh, Mrs. Uh, Madame Guo has copied from, I think, with the same, exactly the same composition with even the placement of signature. Uh, and the title is a slightly different. This shi means generation. So generation, from generation to generation, uh, qin bai, uh, or in a sense, okay. Um, so yeah, we can copy this original. If you compare the two, um, I, I did, I, I, I put, two pieces on the same page in the handout. Um, the first page one, if you have the handout. And you can compare the two and you can see that ink, ink tonality is uh, better in the, our, on the original. So we want to uh, follow. Here the strokes are okay, but uh, it lacks the tonal change. So the, the white line on the, on the uh, uh, stem uh, of the the veggie is a little too dark for me, uh, but he, she did a wonderful job. That I, I don't, uh, uh, I, I think it's a, it's a uh, what do we call the great um, freestyle. So you know it's okay to to express this yourself with uh, just cut, uh, as a symbol of a, uh, a special, you know. Uh, Symbol for the symbolic, you don't have to be very realistic, you know, to pass the, to express yourself with this. The, uh, but I think that realistically, we could do better if we, uh, if we use a different tone for the stem and the vary the, vary the leaves a little bit. Okay, I'll show you how to do that, and we we can also use color. In this case, uh, he used uh, some color. 
Uh, not not on the on the bok choy, bok, bok choy but uh, on, on apples. You can also add apples, which means uh, peace. Um, so shi shi qing ping. Um, you add another layer of uh, good wish for generations to come. Okay. Um, speaking of uh, um, shi zi, I, I, uh, it has the same meaning of uh, shi shi shi, you know. Uh, shi zi means line, the, uh, line dance here. You can see the, uh, there's a, a climax uh, uh, in the end of this. They will try to reach a uh, bok choy hanging on the ceiling or on the, uh, above the door. So uh, in New Year's celebration, this is often the very uh, exciting moment for, for everybody. Uh, to get excited and, and uh, get to get the so the the merchant will hand this um, bok choy ching cai or celery or green onion depends on which veggie it has a little different uh, a good wish for example ching cai here uh, celery uh, means uh, uh, ye yu qing, means uh, you 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 become uh, uh, really good at uh, uh, anything if you uh, delete it means uh, signal, uh, yeah, I thought, oh, means yeah, uh, del diligent, diligent. Just wait a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, we need this. Um, can you mute? Yeah, if you're on a call. Okay. Um, so here is a, a greeting card uh, describing that uh, line dance. You see the green here, and that's a bok choy, and uh, this. Action is called the Cai Qing, picking up the green, picking up the green, or the, you know, Cai, uh, Qing Cai, the, the green veggie symbolize, uh, we call it Bai Cai, right, the hundred wells. So in this case, it means uh, um, to pick up a well, to, it will bring wells to, to you in the coming, the coming new year. So that's the, the good, um, lucky kind of, uh, yeah, see this one? Um, and it also uh, tests for the skill of the dancer. You can see how tall this is, you know. They, they, they got two person to play it, um, in, in, the, in this cover, right? You can, you have, have you seen this line dance? Maybe you should see that if you have, okay. Um, yeah, there, there are some other um, subject matter that goes with uh, uh, bok choy, uh, like chicks here, also symbolize uh, generation or um, insects and uh, like this. Okay, so uh, we're going to do the shi, the red persimmon with uh, bok choy. Yeah, this one. Okay. But and uh, the paper we're going to use is always the unsized. She should only use this unsized, unsized uh, shun, unsized uh, rice paper. If you have like a some paper which is not absorbent, I I I have a tip tip for you. You can use a very Thing uh, like ten percent or five percent uh, laundry detergent water diluted with water and uh, soak it and let it dry so it, it will become uh, unsized. For those uh, who you know have this kind of machine-made paper, sometimes uh, it's not very absorbent. We 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 can use that. Uh, I, I I was. Interesting to try this paper here, the treated paper, so uh, it, it will be more absorbent. Yeah. Right, hey, Rings, yeah. There is a question. Yeah. Uh, this person has three types of paper: red star shuanzi, double shuan, semi size. Uh, yeah, the shuanzi. red star would be the best. It's the best of the best. Yeah. So for this particular the lesson, yeah, you can use double. Uh, semi size is not uh, uh, very. Uh, it, it, I will show you why. 
Uh, let's do the parts. Yeah, we, we will do a. Um, I I have a I have a uh, diagram. I think there's another question. Uh -huh. Is it okay to use Yue Gong Dian? Yeah, Yue Gong Dian is what uh, you probably uh, can treat it uh, with uh, detergent later to to make it uh, even more um, uh, absorbent. I think. More smearing. You need you need uh, the um, absorbency for doing this uh, kind of. Uh, uh, it will make the painting easier because if the paint the paper is not uh, smearing enough, uh, it looks stiff. You know, not soft. Enough. But for too too much, uh, if you if you got too much smearing, you can use a, a little peach sap glue, as we mentioned. You don't have to. Uh, okay, I, I'll use the soft brush for the leaves. Uh, you can use a um, combination brush for the sand. It might be easier. But he, he, I think he used the same brush. So if you use the same brush, you can use a um, soft brush or uh, mixed hair brush. But it, it should be big enough. Let me see. I got a mixed brush. Uh, you can use this. This uh, this is a basic uh, soft brush. Yeah. I think for not not too large paper, uh, you can use a smaller brush. For larger, like a, the the box chart size is. I I have my red uh, box chart in my. Uh, I wish I had this here. Maybe Victoria could help me. I forgot to bring. The life size of a large one is about the paper, you know, this paper size, and the, the small uh, bok choy is about palm size. So uh, depends. <coughs> so I'm going to use a little bit uh, ink to get a um, light. If we have a one to ten scale, this probably around uh, two to three. Very light, very light. Yeah. You can add a little essence to the tip. You don't. You don't have to. So I. I will just make it even. Uh, you can add a little green or blue, but uh, not necessarily because uh, yeah, it, it's a, it's a black and white painting. We, we, we basically do. So it's about two to three, um, and we would start from the uh, middle. If we if we consider there, you know, uh, three parts. I think this one is not uh, actually the original, so we'll look at the, I, I just show you the steps. But you can see most of the um, the plant, the veggie has uh, three. I think the main, the host one should have three. Some uh, supporting one could have just the two. Yeah, it's two and a three here. You just vary that. Yeah. The sands. Just look at this, the white part of the wedge. Yeah, some um, split is is good. Okay, I um, I don't think we have three, but let's m let's look at the original. I think it should be a little bit different. So if you have two, try to divide. The two, you know, one in the front, one in the back. So when it's larger, when it's smaller, that's something. Uh, I'll, I'll just practice this stroke for, for now. So I think the, the angle is uh, towards the left. So we, we draw this like that. That's uh, actually this could be the, the back one. I should draw the front one first, depending on which one is it, uh, in the front. But you, you draw the outer shape first. So you don't have to uh, draw the inner part yet. So we can draw another half like that. Uh, try to avoid symmetric, symmetrical, uh, symmetry, what do you call this? Uh, so they are not equal in length or thickness. You know, just vary a little bit. So this is the outer contour, right? Then you do the inner one, so you can make one in the front of the other, like that. So that's the, the one on the left. And then there's something in, in, in the center 
uh, you don't have to do the same. Okay, the, the other one, if we draw uh, in a different direction, maybe we can uh, try. I add a little bit more ink, um, just to vary it a little bit. So we can draw a big one. The, the bottom is between round and uh, square. I call that a uh, squirrel shape. Squirrel oval. <laughs> squirrel. And you can do it in one stroke, but you can also do, uh, do it uh, uh, from top down and, and meet, let it meet in the, in the bottom. Depends on how, how much ink left in your brush. And you should have that, a good sense. If you can you know, do it in one stroke, you do it in one stroke. If not, you can, you can stop at the bottom and then uh, do it again from pot, top down. Um, so this one could be um, behind. So usually we draw it from uh, top down. And you can make a little split uh, like that. And I use the bottom of the brush to make this line thick. So you really have to press. And uh, that's, that's the way of doing the, um, the stem. And we, this is a very f um, fat stem. You know, that's a very delicious, very sweet part. Of the veg, not only the greens. This is my favorite part of this. And uh, um, normally, you you don't you don't see the root in the market anymore because they they, they chop it off. Uh, but uh, in painting, the root uh, uh, is very significant. You must paint that because the whole style has to do with this. The the title would be "Chewed the the root of uh, bok choy." <laughs> You don't have to eat it, uh, uh, actually, but uh, this is a, it, the root of Cai, uh, uh, but, but choy, choy, and it's a um, uh, symbol of uh, substance, bare substance, right? The, the, so this, is, this part is a little darker and drier. And you, you do it like a, a calligraphy. Just make a uh, a thick line, and then some some root. Just uh, short, and less. The whole stand guest uh, could be a little different. Okay. And then we will um, add more water and uh, load with uh, pure black. And before I touch the paper, I, I'll touch the uh, water a little bit. Let me, let me show you. Can I show the top screen at the top video here? Okay, I just uh, bring some water here. Let's see. Let me, let me use a little container so I can show you what I do to avoid the. Let me just. Okay, I just got um, pure water. Actually, there's some ink left over on the bottom. So before I touch the paper, I touch the tip of the brush with a little water. So if it will soften the. The edge, a little bit. Uh, you see. Otherwise, it will have a sharp. Um, but you can you can uh, pause a little bit to avoid that, so that the line is a little softer, and I, I can touch a little more. Um, just uh, add another. I I pay more attention on the contour of. Uh, the the sh you know the the shape, um, and use side brush to keep a, a gradation. So the bottom of the brush is light. Yeah. Um, the front leaf actually is lighter. So we add a lot of water, and just do it uh, like that. And you can add 
just keep dipping in the water. So it become a uh, reverse gradation, light in the, on, on the, on the uh, tip, darker in the, in the bot, uh, middle of the bottom. And you can add the lines, you know, we define that, it's okay. Uh, just uh, because this kind of painting is not duplicatable, so like Chip actually said, you can learn from me but not uh, duplicate mine um, because it's impossible to duplicate right and you you can you can also uh, do the light first like uh, try and, and then add water to break it a little bit and then uh, dark uh, to the dark in the in the middle or uh, behind I think so just just vary each leaf a little bit so they look different. And most difficult part actually is the um, veins. I'll, I'll do that a little bit later. I'll, I'll wait it dry a little bit. But if you do it now, you can see it will start to smear, right? So you, have, you can do it with a very dry brush. But uh, you can wait a little bit. Yeah. This paper I I treat it with the detergent, so it's really absorbent. It makes uh, uh, the line looks very uh, soft. Right? Maybe I just uh, use the the regular one. So. Um, Let's, let's do a persimmon. I consider this uh, not a complete painting, but it looks like a, like a potentially complete. So at this point, I may draw some. I just use water to, to see if what we can do. Maybe three, three persimmons. OK, whatever. <coughs> For the persimmons, we'll use uh, orange color. Um, I have a, I have a new color from Marie's um, uh, Chinese painting color series. Uh, they got uh, some new colors. Uh, in in addition to Gamboge, they have the uh, orange color and uh, dark uh, orange yellow and the dark yellow and lemon yellow also. Uh, it's some cooler, some more uh, reddish. So in this case, I I just you can use vermilion. With vermilion, it was uh, it's a more uh, a little more opaque, but that's okay. Vermilion is uh, number three ninety nine. This one is three nine three sixteen. You can get uh, individual tube from uh, Blue Heron Arts if you like. Okay. Um. So I got some some leftover from previous cast. I I got vermilion. I got. Uh, uh, Scarlet, I got uh, Rouge, uh, or Carmine, Carmine. You can use uh, two. One is uh, either Vermilion or uh, Orange Yellow, if you have, and then uh, Carmine, to add Carmine to, to make it uh, really uh, warm. So I use the same brush, I cleaned it, and I, I loaded the brush first with the uh, yellow, orange, ye <laughs> not yellow, orange yellow. And I, I have some vermilion, so I just uh, add that to the front. And I got some coming next to it, so I add that, so it become really red. Oh, thank you, Victoria. I got bok choy here, baby bok choy. So, I will draw a um, donut shape because the persimmon is not uh, rounded like a peach. Okay, and uh, the one as you see here in the picture is uh, uh, called the Peking of Beijing persimmon. Uh, it has double layers. It's like a uh, it's you know, the, like a donut sh uh, peach, but uh, it has double. Uh, there's a, um, there's a, 
line separated to two layers. But we don't have to do that. We just do one, do one layer, okay? Um, but if you want to, you can do the double. I think it, do you ha I think you have this uh, species in in the state in the states, right? And yeah, we, we just do the double then. Okay. Notice that I I try to make a squarish a squirrel shape, squirrel, squirrel, squ square oval <laughs> shape, squirrel, and leave some white for the calyx, and then another layer underneath it partially overlap because this paper will keep it uh, from uh, completely um, merged together but you can leave a little white here here and there that's okay um, and we can do another behind with a yellow so the the Henry? dark one should be in the front, and you can just add. Henry. Yeah. One of the show right now. They use the fresh Let me. The I cannot. I, I, let me read the question directly. Maybe I. I. Yes. Uh, I have fresh specimens. What's the question? Uh, uh, eggplant tulip also for. Oh, no, no, no. Well, I have pretty want to show fresh specimen right now. Do you want to see that? Or not? Uh, um, fresh specimen. Yeah, your voice is cracking for some reason. I can Can you type oh, in? Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, we also have fresh persimmons. Uh, for Victoria just did a lesson moments ago before this lesson. So I, I was trying not to do this, but uh, um, it's a coincidence. Okay, we didn't plan that. She has the class plan, I, I had, because this is the season of persimmons. There are two kinds of uh, persimmons, right? The, the round, the, there's a round one which you eat soft. It's just pointed. Yeah, you can do that too, if you like. Wh wh whichever it has this no no difference in significant uh, in symbolism. Eggplant. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but the um, turnip is uh, definitely a root. So as long as a root, uh, it has the same uh, symbolism. Okay, uh, eggplant. It's a veggie, so generally speaking, it's also uh, okay. Carrots is a root, so anything has a root, it could be included. And mushroom, uh, for some reason, is also, um, I, I think mushroom symbolizes uh, the qingxiang, you know, uh, uh, the uh, fragrance. We took that, uh, because mushroom has a special uh, fragrance that's uh, also part of uh, you know, we also believe ratio or what mushroom has this uh, kind of longevity, uh, like an elixir kind of, like uh, the peach, longevity peach, uh, peach we talked about. It's a very healthy fruit. Yeah. So I'll do another one with a little green maybe, which is very, a little bit, I'll just add a little uh, leftover, uh, you can add any green or or bl uh, mineral blue to it to make it uh, a little greener if you want. So I'll just do another one here. So the lower parts could be a little uh, lower. Okay. And you leave a little white in the middle, and you can fill in the uh, blank if need needed. And I back, I'm the back to the brush I used for the veggie, uh, the green, and draw those uh, uh, calyx. There are four parts, and in a perspective, you may just need to do three and suggest the fourth one.
Yeah, we. Uh, I don't think we need to see the real fruits. Uh, we just learn the techniques of doing it. Uh, you can copy your garden veggie or fruits uh, later. Okay, just learn the strokes uh, first. It's, it's very important. That you don't copy the real fruit. You want to copy the strokes. So the three or four strokes are not even, but you have to. Also, the number four here is is, uh, is good. Uh, you know, it's the same uh, pronunciation as the shi. So there's a pattern in in uh, Chinese uh, decoration tradition has this kind of the four. four uh, we, we call, call it the one. one. In, in archaeology, they use the term uh, persimmon pattern. Persimmon, persimmon calyx pattern. One, two, three. Okay. And uh, this, this, this ha must, must be very black, 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 pure black. Okay. Remember, Remember we did, we did the, uh, the six persimmons? Uh, it's carefree style. style. That's, That's the kind of um, uh, style, style we should, we should uh, consider. You know, not, not to. to Repeat, repeat, not, not to, to try to, to uh, depict anything. anything. Just, Just do it in, in very uh, certain, certain, sure stroke. stroke. Okay. okay. The, the the next, next is, is the um, the veins on the leaves, and you need to let me draw an illustration here. You need to organize them. But, but not, not to, um, also, you know, not, not to go to the too detail. But, but uh, the, the principle, principle of doing the veins is like this. Let me show you first. first. So, so first of all, you need to have the, uh, the center, center veins, and, and then, then the, the, the side ones, ones like, uh, like, like the real bot choy here. here. They're, They're not, not parallel, parallel, so, so it's, it's uh, more like, like that, that, right? Um, in, in real, real life, life, they're lighter than, than the leaf, leaf. but, but uh, in uh, painting, we we just uh, do, do it, it in, in ink, in, in dark, dark, dark ink, ink because uh, the psychological truth uh, is more important than, than visual truth. As, as long as we can pack, we can. We it's feel it's, it's, it's true, true, then it's, it's real. real. Yeah. Um, it, it doesn't, doesn't have, have to be like, like uh, we, we did, did uh, the, the other, other day, day, the peach blossom, blossom uh, I, I mean, mean peach uh, tree, peach tree leaves, leaves like, like this. You, you don't have, have to. to. So, so they, they, don't, they don't come in pairs. pairs. So you, you can, can vary the, the, the uh, not, not only the uh, length of this veins, you can also vary the uh, position of them, so, so you, you don't have, have to do, do it like, like a, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think, I think this, this look at this. this. Some, Some yeah, yeah, they, they, they don't, don't come in pairs. pairs. They don't face each other, other on, on, on the side. side. So, so one, one up, one one up, one, one low. You could could be a little bit close, you know. Just don't pay too much attention on that. Don't match them exactly. But some of them are really close, so it could. You could, but, but you don't, don't have to. to. So that, the, 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 the whole point, point is this. You need to radiate, you know, to, to make, make it the, the line uh, pointing to the same root. Okay, okay. That, that, that's, that's very important. important. Uh, uh, if, if you, you do, do things, things like uh, uh, in, in a very random, random way, so it will go all directions. directions. That's, that's not, not uh, very good. good. Right. So let's, 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 uh, let's try. You don't, don't have, have to, to com um, complete. So just, uh, just uh, you know, know very suggestive. So I'll draw some center veins. veins. Um, in, in contemporary style, we can use the side brush, brush but the, the master Qi uh, uh, is very traditional. traditional. Uh, he, he will use, use the tip of the brush. brush. You can combine the two. So, so you, I, I use dry brush, brush very dry. You can use the stiff brush. It's easier. Okay. okay. And 
try not to paint to parallel. You can have lost and lost and found, but generally they uh, think about cabbage, the, the kind of rough, but not exactly to form the heart, the the head, the head shape. And this part is is most challenge, most challenge part. To try to keep it loose, that's good. But um, loose, but not completely uh, free, because you have to to loose loose up the rule. You have to understand the rule first, then uh, suggest uh, suggestively. I would say, not loosely, but suggestively, as long as the Yeah, see the radiation. I try to you set up the kind of uh, direction first, and then you can add just necessarily enough to to complete. Because they overlap the curve, you know, it's like this. So you you you, you do not have to paint every leaf like a flat. That's you're good. Yeah, see the the fold the the fold. They fought here, and uh, yeah, just look, look like that. See, so they don't really it just depend the f the feeling of it. It's it's hard to describe, but I hope you you need a long time uh, practice to 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 de develop the the uh, this is this is, um, skill of doing the veins of. Uh, Either the f the flower or the veggie, whatever. Okay, and uh, I'm going to write the title of. Uh, uh, let's make it. Uh, I can make it a short. Just a single page. You can write, um, if you only have space for four characters, you, I will write uh, 事事如意, you know, like uh, uh, everything um, is done, um, or dream come true, or something like that. Um, but uh, this eight characters is what I just uh, learned from the, the book the root of a wisdom book so I'm going to write this okay, can you see it zoom please zoom in to the characters Henry I'm sorry so yeah, is that uh, outside the frame okay here no it's if you can zoom in. Okay. Yeah, I, I think we we I will copy uh, the kind the the Chinese to the to the chat room so you can for those who want to copy this and you just put it in the chat room. Okay. I just copied this uh, proverb. Bai shi ke. Bai shi ke zuo. I almost write uh, another slogan, uh, commercial, is Bai shi ke le, which is a translation of uh, Pepsi Coke. It's a good, good commercial tra translation. Very close to this uh, proverb. Bai shi ke zuo, or Bai shi ke chen. You could also change the last character to to succeed. This is a done. Everything could be done. If you ch could chew or live on the root um, of 
bok choy, a radish, turnip, radish, or whatever. Vegetable roots. If uh, chewed vegetable roots, everything could be achieved or done successfully. <clears throat> yeah, I think for uh, this subject matter, it's good idea to use larger paper because the the fruit is really, I mean the the veggie is really large. You need to uh, if you use small paper, you have to paint the specimens very small to uh, keep the proportion right, right. And this paper is very um, different because I, I used the uh, laundry detergent water, very thin one to destroy the, uh, to, and to make it more unsized. So it, it blurs a lot. And you can, if you add water, you will create a, a uh, ring of a uh, stain. That's the reason we used it for a, a, a landscape class before. Anyway, so this is the the first uh, demo I, I I tried to show, and we can also do some other composition. Let me see how 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 is yours going? Uh, any Questions. Uh, what about the this colorful one with the uh, apples? Well, that's a very challenge. Let me see. Oh, this one just the persimmon on a branch. Um, I think uh, this is a persimmon in uh, uh, similar to the cherries we did, right? Uh, in a in a bamboo um, tray, five or six 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 persimmons. Yeah, I think it's echoing the Zen painting we studied. So what about uh, chicken chickens? In interesting, huh? Uh, let's do this Ch chicken. I need a larger paper again. This time I'll do it vertically. Okay, the smooth side up, okay, always smooth side up. I don't need any Red, just uh, I I can use uh, peach sap if needed to control the the smearing. Um, okay, so let me just use uh, this is a red. Okay, I use a new brush to show you. So <coughs> I start with the uh, peach sap because this paper is ex extremely uh, bleeding. I need to control the 
learned from the first lesson, you know, the, the, the first uh, uh, demo, this bleeds too much, so I use pitch step to control. I on any paper, if you feel it's more uh, than you need, you can use a pitch step. Let me show you the pitch step look like. They come in powders, and I just use uh, my palette. You can dilute it with a, a, a bottle and then keep it uh, in the refrigerator after using. That's it. I just let it dry on my palette. Yeah. I don't have any left here. So that Wait. Anybody Wait. Have a question on this? You can use yes. any other glue if you want. Uh, Harry, can people use the glue? I, I cannot okay. hear your sound. Uh, it's uh, oh, okay. very difficult to to. I I hate to adjust the volume because that might destroy my. Um, can you type in the question? Okay. Because your sound is cracking, I cannot understand what you say. Maybe my volume is too low, but I hesitate to adjust that. Let me check my message here. Uh, gelatin powder is too... Um, it's good. Uh, gelatin powder is fine. Ge gelatin powder is uh, uh, supposed to be the binding, binding material for um, making pigments. Of course, they're, they're used already in the... In the uh, pigments uh, in the pens. You can use that, yeah. But it's a little bit difficult to deal with. You have to use warm water. Uh, you might have to soak it, you know. So it's a little easier to use peach sap. But yeah, they do the same thing, right. Okay, so I, I use a little glue to control my uh, bleeding. And you can see how smear it is. I just dropped one wa water. When drop of water, it become a big uh, staying here, so I I then I dilute it with uh, a, a little ink, a little ink. Okay, I don't have to make it even so that it start darker, make uh, become lighter. Okay, and this uh, is in the background, and the cheek uh, will be a little darker uh, gray. So this must be one to two or. You know, very very light, very light, because it's white. In, in um, the name is green and white in, on the title, uh, Qing Bai, right? Okay, so where should I start? It should be a little bit. Uh, this is a long composition, so we need to change that to a more rectangular, squarish one. So I will take advantage of the top more and uh, uh, put the leave more room for the uh, baby. Chicks, but this would should start uh, below the middle line. The middle line is right here, right? So and uh, uh, maybe a little over the half horizontally, but this about the middle, but next to the middle. So I will try just do this barely on the border of uh, the. Okay. I supposed to do the side first. I understand. Uh, I did the center first. Yeah, I can see f where he started because the the side is a little more moisture, um, mo uh, wet, more with more moisture. The dry brush because my brush was dry after this first stroke. So I come back. I did this uh, middle first. Then I go back to the palette and then redo loading. So I have. Um, fully loaded again to do the the right side. I try to make it up so they look. I, yeah, see if I've done in in one stroke. See, and I have a little uh, angular turn here. That's very powerful, uh, Chibashu style. And actually, you can see that it's the uh, angular. Corner. It's not round completely. It has some corner here, right? That that. Yeah. So without adding shade, shade, uh, or details, 
a single stroke could express a lot of things in Chinese uh, brush painting. Uh, everything is in, in the ink and the stroke. We call that bi mo, ink and the stroke. That's what you need to learn from a, a master like Qi Bai Shi. Okay, uh, as the brush is still light, I don't wash the brush, I just continue. Uh, you can load more. If I had more light ink here, I can use that. But now I, can, I have to make some more. And I do the light first, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure in this case uh, which one is in the front, the dark one or the light one. Maybe, you, yeah, let's do the dark. So I, I, this is very important. I dipped light, uh, first uh, light uh, completely all the way to the bottom. And I dipped dark from directly from the, uh, pal uh, the uh, ink stone. And then I touch a little bit water. This is supposed to be clean water, okay. Just soften the edge. And I have a go. If you don't touch the water, it will be a stiff start and very hard to fix. And you can hide the tip, which is extremely important. Hide the tip. You can you can have some softness. I think that that um, that uh, vein stand out uh, a little bit is okay. I had the uh, impression that yeah I may I may confuse you. Everybody did the peach tree blossom, uh, peach tree leaves with all the uh, veins st sticking out. Don't do that on your veggies because that will look very inedible. On peach blossom probably it's okay, but uh, uh, your 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 line should be very. Round it, you know, very well wrapped. Uh, and we call this uh, uh, fresh, fresh look. Otherwise, you know, you can have some dry brush like that. It's okay, uh, but try not to paint too much dry strokes. So it would look something like, you know, when I was in Colorado, they had they had this. In Asian um, super, uh, not supermarket, just Asian grocery stores, but they are very dry because they're there's you know not many people buy them uh, and very expensive. So I was uh, I, I moved back to LA. I was happy to get fresh um, bok choy here every um, you know any time. So. Um, I can have a little bit of dryness in the sea, but I try to keep the roundness so they're not too rough, not like a um, wizard, wizard that you won't take home, right? So th the same thing you should do here. So you keep it fresh, uh, spray some water on it, right? They do that. But actually the most fresh one is in the uh, farmer's market. They don't use any water uh, spray. They, it just come uh, the, that morning. They, before they come to, to the, the market. market. That's, That's the, the, the kind, kind of feeling we try to get. get. Okay. okay, so, so they are very fresh, fresh we'll see. You, yeah, you, you, you can, can, you can you use multiple um, strokes, strokes here, here, but later, later we'll, we'll, we'll group them together, together with the veins. We, we, we um, combine them. them. Uh, already, already you can, can you know you, you, you already see the the, uh, the structure and the the front and the back relationship. The center could be a little darker. Sometimes we we add some shady part, but you don't have to. Uh, don't try to depict or to copy everything uh, from the master. Okay, now the difficult part. I had this uh, uh, chick. Chicken, little baby chicks, uh, in my right, lesson one, one, but it proved to be the most difficult part. Uh, and Chi Bai is really good at the little baby chicks. Uh, in addition to his most famous uh, shrimp, uh, that's why you know, it doesn't mean it's the easiest. But uh, uh, 
you know, when, when we, we teach, teach children, children to paint, paint chicken is always, always the first, first one, one of the first lessons, because, because we want to uh, teach them, you know, to teach students to get used to the bleed, to uh, fall in love with it, not to uh, against it. So you want to have this kind of bleed, uh, you know, this uh, I'll take advantage of this spot right now. Oh, don't forget to do the uh, roots, but I, let me see, should I do it first? Yeah, probably, but I will leave room for the chick next to it. So not do too long, just do a short one. Just uh, do a short one. Maybe just that much. Okay, <coughs> now I'm going to um, get some more pictures up and uh, dilute the ink to a medium, in, um, maybe four to five, not too dark. We need some dark for the wings and the um, leg and uh, the head, right? So the body part is a medium gray. Medium gray. Um, but you, you can, can you can gradate the, the ink, ink with, with a little, little bit, bit dark, dark. With a little, little bit dark. dark. Not not, not very dark. dark. The, the darkest, darkest on the chick is the the beak and the eye. Um, I, I need, need to, to do a maybe a practice or illustration first. Let me show you. <coughs> so, so you start, start from the the head. It's like, like a, a a dot, dot in the calligraphy, um, and uh, with, with a little, little uh, uh, tip. tip. So, so you if you if you, you draw, draw a guideline guide for yourself, a water drop shape, shape yeah. right? You can, you can, you know, if, if you don't, um, if you're, you're not, not good, good, you can practice this stroke. But uh, just like you, you how you how you practice uh, calligraphy, and eventually you can do this like that. So that's this kind of uh, stroke. And to leave a little room for um, the uh, eye and uh, beak. The beak is simplified to two stroke without the middle. Middle one. one. So, so one short, one long. He, he omits the, the, the. There's, there's no, no circle. circle. There is no circle around the eye. But, but there's, there's white. That's, that's why, why you need to keep this in shape. If you, you do, do the beak first, to the, the eye first, and then beak, you can, can also do that, that, I think. But probably Master Shi didn't do this this way. He can make it, you know. Uh, seeing like, like, a, like, like a bird, uh, but, but normally, normally he doesn't make, make the mouth open, open. Just keep it simple. Uh, the, the the head, head is quite round in his style, but, but leave it just a little, little bit white. And always use a blotting paper, a blotting paper to stop bleeding. That's very super important. You can use a tissue without a. Uh, Texture, uh, paper, uh, rested paper would be fine. Uh, rice paper would be fine. And uh, then we'll do the the body. And uh, he, he probably did the wings first. Uh, in in my lesson, I I, I add the wings. It's, it's okay. I think um, he probably did something like that first. These are darker. These are darker than the body. And then he would draw, he would add some water, he would, he would do the body, the chest, the back, and the tail. Um, you can leave a lot of white between strokes. The, the body of the chick um, is like an egg, an egg. So if I draw the other uh, shape, shape here, is. Uh, there's a bronze head, like an egg, small egg. 
It is a big egg shape. Uh, it's very important not to paint the tail too long. I, um, I see a tendency on, on, the, on this painting, but uh, maybe this one was not authentic. Uh, yeah, I think. And then the, the, the uh, other part. The wings are on, on the back, near the head, not um, like, a, like, like a bird. To avoid confusing with the bird, keep the body rounded, not with a, a, a pointed uh, tail. And keep the wing very short, just two dots. Same, same stroke like the, the, uh, the head. Let me use the darker ink for, for that. So you can see one, two, three. You can have this front one a little larger. So okay, this check. And the the other difficult uh, challenge part is the uh, uh, the the feet. Um, you can use the smaller brush. Okay. Let me do a, do a complete one. So one, two, three. And then I think it's easier. Maybe just use a different brush. And then just like that. And blot. And uh, you can you probably Use a small, uh, stiff brush. Yeah, for the beak and the <coughs> for the beak and the eye, you can use a uh, stiff brown brown hair brush, stiff brush. You keep the beak short, sh very short. Don't don't do this. This is a bird. Okay. This this beak is too long, right? Keep it short. Baby chick, you know. Like a baby uh, bird, also have a very short, make it cute. You don't have to do the the thigh; just the a leg is enough for us. Yeah. And the direction should be pointing to to the front. Yeah. The top, the uh, claws should should po pointing to the to the front. Um, yeah, he, he does that uh, in because the the feet of a bird is is a little different. Uh, the 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 uh, chicken they they walk, so they are more parted. I think it's more like like this. Instead of you know like that, so just. Um, Open. Keep the car is more open. Yeah. And this is maybe too light. You can you can um, you can reinstate it with a with a little uh, dry brush if you want to go back or you know wet it dry a little bit. Obviously, don't don't, don't do the circle thing. That's just for sh to to sh to show you the shape. Do it without the outline, using uh, we call this uh, dots, yeah, big dots, rounded the dots. All right. So let's uh, let's see if the the choice is fine. We, we keep an eye on the moisture uh, before we add the veins. Now we do the cheeks, right? So dark gray are for the the head. Oh, okay. Let me see. I, I, I made the wing a little too big, but that's okay. Um, you can you can paint one, you know, basically darker than the other here. It could be black. So just use dry brush. And then I 
out the dark wings. I redefine that. Let's change that. Okay, and if it's uh, okay, you like it, just fix that so they will not bleed anymore. You can blot it any time to control the bleeding. And then I, you can do all the beak um, later, but uh, let me just finish the complete one so you know what to uh, look like. And uh, this one is like a falling. I don't think the master would do that. Uh, let me, let me just change a little bit. So it's walking, right? So this one means backward. And the, we can do the, the, okay, keep the, the feet small, but not too small because it, it, it feels larger, you know, actually the, compared to a dot. Okay. It's kind of hard to do this part, even for me. Yeah. So I try to hide the one behind the behind the uh, the body. He has some kind of leg. Um, I think don't mess around with that uh, hairy thigh. Just to uh, keep it thin. I think I try to copy that. That's not working. Okay. And uh, I try to adjust just a little bit here. It's a little rounded. Okay. <coughs> now um, a little different angle here. It's this is a interesting one from top from top perspective. So you kind of do the uh, the head. It's a uh, the top of the head, and then the the wing on the side, and a little bit suggestion of the um, tail, and then just before it gets dry, you you want to continue with the uh, light. And just a little suggestion of the under part. You don't really see the chest in this angle. Um, it almost just like an egg. Pretty. I don't cut it. Just you know, as long as the egg is complete, you don't have to do the left side. Yeah. Okay. The the other one is walking. It's too dry. So my brush is really dry, so I can uh, get some time to think. If your brush is really wet and the paper is very smearing, you have to do it fast. Okay. <coughs> I, without changing the brush, I try to just, I mean, ch ch I change the load on the brush. I change the brush. I do change the brush. And just to do the egg shape and uh, go back to the darker gray another dark one on the back here two stroke for the wing and uh, I can just circle the the shape a little bit with a just some mark for the light to to go and then just fill in that space a little bit you don't have to fill in all the space that's very important I just break the dark a little bit Okay, now we have another one is outside the the frame, which is uh, um, very common uh, technique. I mean, to suggest there are more more chicks um, outside the frame. Okay, so these two are talking to each other. So they, there's a story you can see there. And this side is a little bit tricky. You have to um, press that way, like that. Okay, the wings are outside. I just 
half of the body. So that's enough. Okay. <coughs> now we are back to my my stiff brush for the details to finish all. Um, there's a problem. The, uh, if there's a spot, uh, you know, like a, uh, still wet, you cannot do the beak. You have you have to wait. I think. Uh, there's a, one more behind that. Uh, uh, we can do it uh, right behind he, behind the, the uh, bocha. So this in this case, I can do the light maybe. Uh, not really. You always start from the the head, which determines the direction. Um, I try to communicate, so maybe we turn this a little bit, this one, inside. So that's the, the head of, the top of the head, and then the two wings. Just let it reach into the light. And uh, because it's walking uh, down, so the head is sti sticking out, I think. Don't have to be exactly the same as the picture there. Okay, so I just get some more ink. So you, you see the ink is color. There are five at least tones of values from dark to dark to light, lightest light, right? At least. So that's very important to vary. Uh, you can try a little bit with a hair dryer. Not hair dryer. I, I bought this like a $12 on Amazon. Uh, because it's a noise less than hair dryer. That's why I, I use it here. You can use a hair, household hair dryer. Okay, um, let me do this first. So we don't really see the eye if it's on the side. Just a little bit beak and uh, a little bit feet. Yeah, this has to be very bony. It has to be bony, not uh, too. You can have a little nail kind of dot. Um, this one still wet, I think. Or wait, this one's dry. Okay, so keep it keep the beak uh, short. Very important. So they're very cute. I exaggerated that, and you can make it uh, really cute. All right. And uh, my brush is split. I got two nails coming out in one stroke. Okay. And uh, the leg is really hard, really, really hard. You don't don't be frustrated if it's a. Uh, Did I give you the chicks in the handout? I don't think I did. <laughs> Maybe uh, uh, you can download it from my um, my uh, Dropbox. Let me give you the link. All the pictures uh, in my folder uh, folder is here because uh, I was worried about uh, the size of the attachment. The some email may got bounced if it, the attachment is too big. So um, if you don't have this sample painting, go there. In the chat room, you can download 
Oh, did I just give it to Yongle? I should send to everybody. Okay. Yeah, that that link is a uh, uh, Dropbox storage folder for all the um, images here. I don't think I I I, I included this in the in the uh, handout because this one is is not very easy actually. So the proportion must be right, and uh, um, perspective must be correct. The body is uh, rounded, but not completely round. You know, that's always a, uh, a challenge. You know, you want to correct one problem, you create something new. Oh, I, 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 I didn't realize, realize the time is already past 12. Uh, um, let me finish in one minute, minute maybe. Because we, we spent some time uh, talking, talking about, about the voting, uh, I remind you that you can do that uh, if you haven't uh, after the class uh, to support our uh, kind of host libraries. It will we'll also support our future class uh, if they win the, the funding for, for the display uh, com competition. So do participate to support, to show our, show our appreciation. Um, by the way, I have a, um, a flower painting class uh, tomorrow. Only three students signed up so far, so if you'd like to join, you're welcome. Um, it's a Lingnan, Lingnan school uh, style peony. Because I, uh, I, I didn't, didn't advertise, advertise it, it. I, I didn't uh, take it offline from uh, uh, the, the same date of last year. year. Someone uh, didn't notice the, the year, uh, this past year, that they signed up. So I, I have to keep it open. And I got uh, three students only sign up for tomorrow's class. It's a last minute <laughs> notification, but if you know, I, because someone asked last uh, week about uh, the Nan school, uh, so if you're interested, let me just uh, share this link here. Uh, so you you can still sign up. It's twenty dollar for the uh, workshop, not uh, not too expensive, very personalized. Um, Guided uh, workshop. Okay, if you like a Nina style flower painting, which will be on unsized paper, not like this. Definitely, it's a, a very different style. Okay, let me sign here. Oh, here, here. Uh, we'll we'll write to shi shi. Uh, not shi shi. Qing bai ren jia or Qing bai chuan shi. So Qing means uh, uh, pure. Bai means the plan. Uh, I think he uh, just write ren jia or, or chuan jia. Ren jia is chuan. OK, I'm writing in different mixed styles. Anyway. Renjia means uh, uh, family, incorruptive family, or something like that. Innocent family, innocent family, right? 
Baby, baby is innocent. innocent. Yeah, innocent baby. So that's that's good translation. If we translate to Google, would, Google will do uh, innocent family. I think they only use uh, innocent translate this word and try to complicate it. And this is the year of the ox. And uh, uh, my name. I, I'll I'll say um, maybe homage to. Okay, I just say mimic. <coughs> Fun, bash, mimic, bash. You could put a year, uh, usually uh, right above the, the name, but uh, it's okay, I think, <laughs> grammar uh, year uh, at this time uh, of uh, ox, uh, mimic, yeah, you can also put the date in front, it's, it's still working, I think. Okay, now the seal. I didn't. I'm surprised. surprised. Oh, oh, the, the, let's the hold the persimmons. Can you can you show uh, everybody? Yeah, everybody hold the persimmons. If you did. Okay. Great. 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 Yeah. If, if you, you don't, don't have, have the, it's okay, okay to hold the uh, baby, baby chicks or other. other. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. Very good, thank you. Let me see page two, if anybody there. Yeah, we got a few people. Two people. Okay, very good. Thank you. So, no more. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, lesson and the information we tried to, uh, to give you uh, about uh, the program and also the uh, cultural significance of uh, bok choy. And uh, next time when you see a line dance, you will understand what they're doing. Hopefully. Uh, okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Can we, yes. Can we hear me right now? Can we? Let me turn, turn off your volume so I can hear you. Okay. okay. Can you hear me We have 15 minutes. Um, do you want to do something virtual? Uh, your, your sound is still broken. I'm sorry. Okay. I okay. have a problem with your sound today. <laughs> uh, let me read the message in, in chat room. If you have any, I can announce it. Um, let me see. Are you typing in your... Question? Yes. Okay. Um, what time of my class? Tomorrow? Uh, it's 10 30. So it's a half an hour later than today. 
1030 to 1.30, I believe. Uh, it could be three hours, maybe two hours. Maybe two hours, yeah. To, to 12.30. Yeah, check the link, it's on there. 10.30 to what? Actually, two and a half hours. Uh, someone already uh, cl cl uh, cleared it up there. Um, okay, so you want to ask YouTube critique. Okay, now I see one painting from uh, Suzanne. Um, okay, your your chick um, could be same size. Okay, just uh, uh, keep it the uh, same size and uh, try to group them in, in the order uh, or uh, that you know density or sparsity variation so they, they don't look scattered. Also the, the two uh, box choice must be uh, grouped together somehow. So you can see my painting has a, uh, you know the, the chick is behind or next to it. It has some uh, something to do with the, the box choice, not just uh, uh, separate. Okay, the uh, this persimmon painting the two box try uh, must be a little. Uh, you, you got different angle, which is good. They has they has to be overlapped. One is in the front, one is in the back. Would be even better. Okay, so one is host, the, the one in the front. Um, either the left one or the right one. You have to make uh, that decision. And the dark is not soft enough. You you need to soften it and try to break the the uh, stroke into several. So they are not. Uh, so heavy uh, handed, like uh, on, on one of the dark starting point. Uh, I think this is a very common mistake. The student will load pure ink and then write on the paper, they form a hard line, a hard shape or line. Uh, you, you have to break that before you touch the paper. And then on the paper, you try to use uh, multiple strokes uh, instead of one stroke, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The persimmons are fine. The, the the calyx could be a little stronger. They're not stem. They're they're quite large. You know the shape of the persimmon. Uh, it has like a little um, cup, a little cup on the top of the the. the if, if you look at the real fruit, uh, let's see. I think we should take it away. Uh, you know, if you look at the the recording that Victoria did uh, one hour earlier. Uh, two hours earlier, and uh, you'll see the real persimmon in her class. She did a wonderful job on that, and it has uh, the real persimmon. So yours, um, Alexa, your, yours persimmon has the same problem. The calyx is not, uh, it's too thin, it confused with the stem. It's just, the cup is the cup, the stem is the, you don't have to do the stem, there's no stem. There are four strokes, like a little uh, rounded, uh, like uh, coins. Yeah, it, it, it's not rounded, but uh, it has the shape of, a, we call it uh, the Rui um, cloud. It's a cloud shape, yeah. Okay, uh, your bok is nice. Very good, yeah. Bok choy is, bok choy is good. Um, your chicks could be a little oh, bigger. Uh, bigger, yeah. Also varied. Um, so the, the the dark and the light should be a little bit um, not so not you know or dark uh, or hard could be a little softer bleed could be more bleed I like the bleedness it shows energy and uh, even you know, feel the flying like if you look at uh, mine you'll see so bleed is not a bad thing sometimes you you can use breaking ink more breaking ink Sutan okay. Sutan's penny uh, you did. Uh, a good exercise in previous class we didn't see, but uh, here I'm very happy. See you for the first time, your work. You're very good, your calligraphy of, of course is very, uh, very nice. Um, the dark and the light contrast on the bok choy, very, very nice. And you did the persimmon or in ink with different tonality, wonderful. Um, yeah, your, your calyx is perfect, I give you a five, thank you. I'm very glad to see your work. Uh, the chick, um, yeah, the, the baby chick, uh, the uh, back, the wings could be a little rounded. Uh, maybe a little, you know, just a little blurry, yeah, smaller. 
um, so not so hard like a pasted on the on the body. Try to uh, integrate them. Uh, the the dark the starting point could be a little gradated, so that you know they, they use the side brush to keep the gradation to start with. So I, I see there's a, maybe just a video camera shows just a, a dark, but I, I see there's light as long as you you have room for veins, that's fine. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the body of the last, uh, the top chicken is a little long. The tail, that part, to be rounded. That's all. I think it's an A class. The composition should be more full, though. OK, uh, Claire, um, your bocha is a five star. I like that. The shape is perfect. Very, very realistic and uh, very delicious looking. Um, the chicks, a little bit. Uh, uh, like a bird, you know, they, I, I know they're flying or uh, moving, but just try to keep the egg shape, especially the tail part should not st sticking out. That's that's a no-no. Yeah, there are several of them, uh, the, the tail should be omitted. No tail. If you look at the, look, search for baby chick, newborn baby chick uh, pictures on, on Google, if you haven't raised them in their childhood, I I because I, I raised them <laughs> when I was young, so I, I'm very familiar with the, those uh, chicks. Uh, yeah, just keep the the tail part without any angle, angular or you know uh, shape or, or uh, long stroke. That would be fine. S sh sh thank oh. you, Shirley. Uh, ho okay, Shirley, you are. Um, your your bocha is very very good. It looks like uh, they, they're bonded with a string or something. That's okay. I like the fat um, uh, stem where it looks very juicy. Very good. Um, yeah, the chick part. I I think you you kind of align them, and the distance is the same. You know, we all tend to do that. Actually, probably I did that. Uh, just try to vary them so you can groove the bottom two together a little closer and uh, you know make uh, some variation in in, di in the in directions the 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 feet has to be done in standard calligraphy no no draft uh, look you know it has to be very uh, certain with tip concealed stroke which means uh, just like you're writing a standard calligraphy the, the the bars and the, you know the dashes has to be very rounded, without exposed the tip. You can add the tip on the very end like a nail. Uh, add add an extra dot, not not a, uh, so thin. So yeah, the 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 and I know this part is really challenging. Even for me, I still have to practice the feet. Yeah, the beak is the same. You did beak very nicely. Uh, the eye has to be dark, pure black. There's no eye I, I can identify. That's, uh, but you can still add it after drying. Yeah. Okay. The yeah, just keep the egg shape. That's not three. D. Reagan. Oh, very nice. I lo love the bochoy, bochoy, and. Uh, uh, your baby chicks were well, very good. The legs could be a little um, more realistic, like a walking or, or, or you know, uh, that the original has the same problem actually. So uh, the two legs, could, yeah, the parallel legs on the on the right side could be a little uh, better. The the claw could be a little parted, you know. Like the first one on the on the bottom, from the uh, third one from the left is good. The front one, yeah, the dark one is good. Uh, try to keep them a, a little uh, larger. I think the feet could be larger. Generally speaking, yeah, it could be larger because they're baby chicks. Yeah, uh, I love the tonality of this painting. Beautiful. Yeah, you have very good <laughs> control. You're very experienced uh, on, with the rice paper, better than mine. <laughs> Okay, Ros Rosemary, huh? Rosemary, uh, you're very advanced too. So your ink tonality is very good on the bok choy. The strokes are perfect. The shape of the, the, 
the stem. Very nice. Uh, the chicks is the real challenge part for everybody. Um, yeah, you, you, your chick is, is a little uh, kind of a rugged look. Try to kind of uh, use softer strokes, maybe round it up a little more, and only shows bones on the on the uh, the beak, and the, the leg with the black. So the black part could be a little more uh, pure ink, like, uh, the contrast. Yeah. But you you do have a nice one, which is the the front, the third one in the the middle one in the front row. Uh, that one is good. The the, mm -hmm. the I, I like the, that that tail. Uh, I mean the the wings and the body relationship is good. Um, try to keep the the chest rounded. Um, yeah. The, the, yeah. Just just you know do an egg. If you review my lesson one, if you if you ever to take my lesson one, I do have that uh, maybe uh, some free lessons on YouTube. You can you can you can search to study more. Okay. Yeah, just to keep the shape uh, rounded uh, over over like an egg egg shape. Um, it's it's very good. Yeah, very good. Well done. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. That's all the participants who would like to, to show their work. Okay. Maybe there are participants who have questions uh, who will ask. I have been um, able, everyone to be able to speak now. If you have a question that you want to ask for me, you can unmute yourself and we have another two minutes, I guess, uh, the questions for those who have not shown their work. Um, I can barely hear you, actually. Uh, anyway, I, I understand they have some questions and answered. Maybe uh, I, I'm, I'm checking the, the chat room. I don't see any questions there and answered. Um, let's see. So the, probably that's it today. So I, I, They can unmute. Uh, oh, if yeah, if you want to ask question, you can unmute yourself. Uh, ask ask directly in Zoom, because your uh, microphone has some problem today. So I'm sorry, Henry. Can you repeat the time of tomorrow's class? Oh, tomorrow is at 10:30. My time uh, will be. I don't know what uh, which uh, area you are. Ch uh, Central. Pas yeah, Pacific time. Maybe two hours. Uh, uh, Earlier than yours, ten thirty to uh, one my time, one o'clock. Yeah, it will uh, be the so um, nine thirty. Yeah, the nine uh, Cantonese style peony. Yeah. Okay, thank you, and don't forget to vote thank for Diker Library and Librarians. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Carol. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye. now. Karen, Bye, do you have a question? Do you have? Thank you, Harry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So, now we're going to stop recording now.